Today we will be talking about hydraulic fracturing or what we call today fracking. So fracking is the process of extracting sorry. Uh, fracking is the process of extracting natural gas from shear rock layers deep within the earth. And this picture can help you imagine what fracking is. So let's take a look back at fracking timeline. In 1860, liquid first used to stimulate shallow hard rock wells in Pennsylvania, New York, Kentucky, and West Virginia. In 1930, initial attempts to inject an unexplosive fluid into the ground to, stim to stimulate a well. In 1947, it was the birth of fracking. Uh, hydraulic fracturing of wells introduced by stun oil, in oil 1,000 gallons of, na na of naphthenic acid and palm oil thickened gasoline was injected, uh, followed by a gel breaker to stimulate a gas producing limestone form at 2,400 feet. In 1949, Hale Burton becomes the first company to use hydraulic fracturing to extract natural gas at industri industri industrial magnitude. In 1974, Congress passes the, S the Safe Drinking Wat Water Act to protect underground sources of drinking water. In 1976, the Department of Energy launches the Eastern Gas Shells Project. It was a joint research project among the, among the states to, to research the unconventional natural gas resources. In 1986, the Department of Energy sponsors the drilling of 2,000-foot horizontal well in the Devonian shells of Wine County in West Virginia. In 1999, the present-day form of hydraulic fracturing is deployed in the Brainerd Shell in Texas. In June 2004, EPA report says that fracking fluids are toxic and, this, and that some portion of those toxic floods remain in the ground for a, after a, fra a frack job. In 2005, fracking boomed after the Energy Policy Act, Act in 2005 exempted, and form, exempted it from the compliance with the Safe Drinking Water Act. In June two, 2009, U.S. House of Representatives introduces the Fracking Responsibility and Awareness of Chemicals Act to repeal fracking's exemption from the SDWA. In February 2010, the House Committee of Energy and Commerce launches an investigation into the potential environmental and health impacts of fracking. In November 2011, the EPA issues a plan to study the potential impacts of hydraulic fracturing on drinking water resources. Where we stand today, fracking rules are still set by individual states. So now, let's see how fracking works. Usually, fracking process has some major steps. It, be it begins with uh, drilling vertically deep into what is called a shale layer. Then by drilling horizontally. After that, a mix of uh, high pressure of water and sand and chemicals uh, is uh, injected to the well to crack the surrounding shale. Finally, through those man-made fissure seeps the natural gas for extraction to the surface. And by this phase, the, the, the fracking job is usually, is almost done. And now Alika will talk more about the advantages of fracking. Good evening, everybody. My name is Alekia. Um, Actually, uh, I just want to talk about the advantages of fracking. Fracking also fracking is also known as uh, hydraulic fracturing. Um, the three advantages of uh, fracking are hydraulic uh, fracturing is providing abundant energy and building local economics and enormous potential through fracking. And the promise clean, affordable, 
natural fuel. Coming to uh, hydraulic co-factoring is providing abundant energy and building local economics. In this, it, uh, it makes possible, uh, um, possible to produce uh, uh, natural gas uh, in place where the conventional uh, technologies are ineffective. Um, hydraulic factoring is also boosted lo local economics by generating uh, royalty payments to the property owners um, and uh, providing tax uh, revenues to the government and creating much needed high paying uh, American jobs. Um, and um, even fracking uh, for a shale, uh, shale gas has become big business, transfer transforming uh, the US energy landscape. Uh, in a year, the new gas production can be expected uh, to exceed more than uh, uh, $100 billion. And uh, coming to an enormous potential through fracking, uh, the U.S. Energy Information Agency reports that over 750 trillion cubic feet of technically recoverable shale gas and 24 billion barrels of technically recoverable shale oil resources currently exist in discovered shale place. And uh, uh, to complete a well um, to uh, for the factoring, um, it takes around uh, a few months for a single well and uh, and that well can be pro uh, for the production it it takes around 20 to 40 years um, coming to the uh, the promise the clean affordable natural fuel having abundant cleaning burning domestic domestic renewable supplies of natural gas promises uh, more affordable energy and more stable prices clean burning uh, shale natural gas is critical to american manufacturing jobs such as like uh, for the farmers uh, for uh, for uh, fertilizers to farmers for fertilizers to households for heating and cooking um, and to society to help address climate change concerns because of its low carbon content and this figure shows the lifespan of the um, the uh, hydraulic factoring um, it takes 50 to 100 days for drilling and well construction of a uh, well, and it takes hydraulic factoring about uh, two to five days, uh, and the energy production it takes to 20 to 40 years. The rest will uh, continue with Martin. Hi everyone, I just want to discuss the disadvantages of fracking. Uh, some of the disadvantages are water waste, air pollution, lack of regulation and poor long-term economic benefits. Uh, water waste. Uh, uh, with this process of fracking, uh, actually uh, a lot of chemicals and are injected into the underground uh, to shatter the rock. And this is uh, in actually uh, some of the metals were said to be inside the, uh, un in inside the ground even after the fracking job is done. So naturally it uh, it causes the side effects to uh, to the grasslands, and, thi and this process carries significant environmental risk. Air pollution, air pollution caused by natural gas, uh, natural gas drilling is uh, now gro uh, is a growing risk, but there is not enough statistics on how much uh, the effect will be in long term. In Texas, previously there used to be 58,000 uh, wells of natural uh, 58,000 wells of natural gas. Uh, but now it, uh, it has been increased to 93,000 uh, natural gas wells. Uh, actually, and, and researchers proved that uh, due to this enormous increase in uh, natural gas wells, uh, they found 25% asthma in, uh, uh, in the state of Texas uh, in children and 7% and, and asthma uh, in, uh, in the adults and poor long-term economic benefits. Uh, though there are many projections funded by the natural uh, gas industry uh, and they, uh, that they claim the economical and economic and financial benefits, uh, they, uh, act, uh, they are no, uh, there are some costs that are not being considered in this, uh, in this long-term uh, long economic benefits. So if uh, I also consider these costs, then uh, in, in real, it would be very less uh, long-term economic benefit. Studies have shown that fracking uh, do also uh, also cause small earthquakes, uh, which can damage homes. Though these earthquakes are relatively small, experts are uh, 
researchers are expecting that uh, they may be uh, big in future fracking also uses a tremendous amount of water that contains chemicals and other environmentally damaging materials and this is a uh, graph showing uh, it actually takes typically it takes 1 to 8 million gallons of water to complete each fracturing job and in 2013 uh, it is estimated about 250 billion cubic meters of natural gas will be brought to surface by fracking in the US. Next part will be, uh, and this fracking in US will be continued by Sneha. Hello everyone. Uh, major oil, fracking in USA. Major oil gas firm to list fracking chemicals. North Dakota struggling to deal with radioactive fracking waste. Huyo investigation connects earthquakes to fracking. Family awarded $3 million in first US fracking trial. Major oil gas firm to list fracking chemicals. Pittsburgh AP, a major supplier to the oil and gas industry says it will be it will begin disclosing 100% of chemicals used in the hydraulic fracturing fluid. The move by Baker Hux of Houston is a shift for a major firm. It's unclear if others if if others will follow suit. The oil, oil and gas industry has said the frac fracking chemicals are disclosed at tens of thousands of wells. But environmental and health groups and government regulators say a loophole that allows companies to hide chemical trade secrets has been a major problem. This is really good news. It's a, it's a step in the di right direction, said Dr. Bernard Goldstein, the former dean of University of Pittsburgh Graduate School of Public Health. Since the company said it will provide complete list of products and chemicals, ingredients used in frac, frac fluids were ac accepted by customers and relevant government authorities. Many companies voluntarily disclosed the contents of their fracking fluids through a website partially funded by the oil and gas industry that tracks fracking operations nationwide. But Crisis says the website has loose reporting standards and allows companies to avoid closing by declaring certain chemicals and as a trade secrets. North Dakota struggling to deal with radioactive fracking waste. Last month, North Dakota Health Depa Department announced that a large pile of oil filter socks, it's a radioactive nets that are used to strain liquid during the oil production process. It has been found at an old gas station in Nonan, a small town in northwest region of a state. The unfortunate discovery was second event in the just few daily in early March as a another pile of oil socks. It was found at flatbed trailers near a landfill outside another small town in northwest Dakota, where the majority of the state oil shell information is located. The state passed a law last week requiring the shale oil industry to use leak-proof containers to hold used oil soaks at shale sites. The law goes into effect on June 1st. North Dakota already requires that filter be support, transported with licensed waste haulers to proper waste facilities. OYO investigation connects earthquakes to fracking. OYO ge geologists have linked more earthquakes in a rock information. The finding has caused the state to offer new permit roles for some areas targeted for oil and gas development. The state investigated five small quests that occurred last month near Engston, finding the hydraulic fracturing or fracking. It's a process of injecting water and sand into the Altissa shale put pressure on a small fault line. So it is said some quacks in, in the area had been linked to deep injection wells that are used to dispose of the massive amount of toxic wastewater Fracking process demands. Would you please join me in thanking them for this presentation? And any questions? Any questions? I have a question regarding the earthquakes. 
Anybody has found anything about uh, earthquakes related to the high pressure, the high disturbance to the... As of now, only uh, minor earthquakes are uh, measured, but in future, uh, researchers ex uh, ex are expecting the major earthquakes. They might be major. Well, I mean, uh, could it the we hear about many earthquakes in the United States, particularly yeah. um, uh, recently. Um, uh, could it be related to that? No, no, that is not related to fracking. How can they say it is not related? I mean, you pressure the, the, all this pressure down there, and you say no. Uh, is there any proof that it's not? No, there is proof. It is. If uh, if any earthquake is uh, due to fracking, then. Uh, as of now, they are only just uh, minor earthquakes that uh, only affect small homes and everything. Small homes yeah. in, the, in the area. Okay. Now, we have heard about sinkholes. Have you heard about sinkholes? Now, people are in their homes, and all of a sudden, a sinkhole happens, big hole, and people go down. Is there any relation between disturbing the strata of the soil and sinkholes? No. 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 So... It's amazing that you do all this and the earth is just swallowing everything. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, I've researched a little bit into fracking as well, and I just wondered, there's a lot of pros and cons to fracking, and I just wondered from each one of you, um, in the sense that after you now researched it, are you for or against it? Do you think that the benefits outweigh the... Um, the effects of it and why, I guess, for each one of you? Uh, I guess it's uh, uh, it's good to support this fracking, uh, but if uh, <laughs> it's good to support fracking up to, an, uh, up to any extent, but not uh, beyond the uh, boundaries. And uh, like, uh, for example, now uh, we are just seeing minor earthquakes and everything. But if all those become major earthquakes and uh, spoil the uh, environment, like you see in Texas, uh, due to this fra uh, oil wells only, 25% uh, of children are getting affected by asthma. So in those cases, uh, we can just exclude them. Well, for me, I'm against fracking because uh, it has some potentials to affect and contaminate fresh water. And I think we need water more than gas. So. I would just say no fracking. No fracking or no yes. fracking in certain areas, just no fracking altogether, even if it was an area that didn't contain the if water? If we do fracking in some areas, it will be, it will go I agree. for bigger sites. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm against fracking because uh, uh, it also affects the uh, soil and uh, uh, and um, um, only in the some places the fracking is uh, uh, okay uh, because uh, it doesn't harm the places surrounding uh, the um, the particular place. Uh, we have to select a uh, particular place for the fracking. Um, in that way, uh, I'm against the fracking. What about how much water they use? Do you think that's? Do you think? that that should be one of the major issues or just that it's um, contaminating the water? Like they have to truck in lots and lots of water to be able to, yeah. to do it just one time. Yes, actually, fracking uses a lot of water, but uh, you about 60 to 70% of the water is returned to the surface to be cleaned from contaminants. And in most cases, they are used in uh, another fracking job. I'm also against fracking. I'm sorry? I'm against fracking. Are there any reasons for being against fracking other than the other reasons? Like in some places, it will be spreading, so I just. What? In some places, it will be spreading. Okay. So that I just. Now, uh, are you satisfied with the answer? She is against fracking because it is... In some places, it's spreading the... Spreading? Yeah. Spreading what? Oil. Pollution? Yeah. Spreading pollution? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, I, I uh, want to ask about how do they collect the, ge the oil itself? I mean, uh, is it after fracking and all this activity down there, how many feet underground? Uh, how do they collect it and get it up? What? Collect it where? Actually, when they, when they crack the surrounded uh, shells, yes. They they make like a path for the gas to escape to the to surface. Escape. So it yes. oozes to the surface, goes up. Yes. Uh, just in the uh, no ta no uh, uh, tubes or anything. It just oozes up. Yes. And they collect it. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Fracking, fracking. Okay. Would you please join me in thanking them again? <laughs>